wanted to come talk to you today about the Micro Pro Grill. So what's so fancy about the Micro Pro Grill? Well, like the name suggests, it cooks in the microwave and it allows you to turn your microwave into an oven, depending on how you have the lid. If you have the lid like this, an oven, or if you turn the, uh, the lid this way, you, then you're turning your, uh, micro, your microwave oven into a grill. So who likes standing out in the heat and grilling when you're not cooking for an army? Um, not eyes of the fly because sweating does not do wonders for my hair. I'm a head sweater and so when I sweat, whew, it's not pretty. So anyway, so yeah, so when it's just me, I'm cooking for myself, something that I would normally do on the grill, I'm going to use the micro pro grill, I'm going to use my microwave because I don't know about you, but my microwave does not eat up my whole heat up my whole house like my oven behind me does. Um, so yes, yeah, so the micro pro grill. So how does this bad boy work? Well, it is a square device and as you see, it's not anything crazy huge. And did you realize like I matched my outfit to the product? That was not that <laughs> I did not plan that, but hey, it just kind of worked out. Um, so what on the, on the bottom of the top of the lid, you have a receptor plate and inside you have a receptor plate. And so during the cooking process, these receptor plates heat up to about 400 degrees Fahrenheit and then they remain at that degree and they cook whatever's inside of it. So what happens? Now, because this has got, this is um, stainless steel and we're putting it in the microwave, the microwaves cannot penetrate it. So the electromagnetic magnetic waves of the microwave are transferred into thermal heat and that is what cooks your food inside of the micro pro grill. So you have two different ways to do it. We're going to be doing the press option, the, 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 um, wait, I can't use my words right now. Yeah, we're just going to call it like the press. So um, like if you're doing like a panini kind of thing. And so this is going to sit on top of it. And this has got some weight to it. So, so it, it does. It presses down on it. I'm going to use that today for my chicken um, breasts. Or you can turn it a half a turn and you have a, like this is like a little mini uh, oven. And so I do macaroni and cheese in this. And guys, this is a good amount that micro, that the um, macaroni and cheese makes. So it's me and the two kids. They're both teenagers. As you can tell, I like to eat as well. And so, yeah, we cut that bad boy in half. I freeze half and then we eat half. And everybody gets their fill, I promise. My children do not go hungry. Um, I also have made a blueberry, like, um, crisp, I guess you can call it. Um, and the top comes out nice and crispy like it would in the oven. Um, so a lot of options, a lot of options. And I would have um, recipes that I would share with you for this. Um, also making a grilled cheese. Oh, I make sourdough with brie and pesto. Oh my gosh, that is the best cheap grilled cheese sandwich. Like, yeah, you feel like you've gone out to like this really ritzy little uh, sandwich shop or something when you have it. Um, so this is the micro pro grill. All right, so what, what are we going to do today? We are going to do um, some chicken. And so when I'm by myself, when the kids are with their dad, um, I've tried to freeze individually um, different things so that I'm less apt to go out or just eat and eat something that's not so good for me. So in these are the small, um, the small uh, freeze it's. And so I am. Um, I can't even use my words right now. Please hold. Um, so these are the small freezer mates and, um, and it's the shallow. Um, and so it's great for a chicken um, breast. You guys are going to laugh. I got these chicken breasts from Aldi and they were really, really big. So um, I label using painter's tape because it doesn't leave a residue behind. And so I wrote one big ass chicken breast because that's what it is. So I hope I didn't offend anybody with that, but that's what we got here. All right. So because it's so big, and you guys are gonna see how big it is. Um, I um, I fillet them, and I think that's the right word, fillet. I'm not even sure. I cut it in half, and I mean I cut it in half like hamburger in half. Um, so um, so I take the thickness of it and and I slice it, and I'm gonna rinse my hands because there's nothing worse than nasty chicken juice on your hands. All right. So as you guys can see, this is a big old chicken. Um, Breast. And this is probably going to feed me like four times because believe it or not, I'm trying to work on my portion control. Oh, that's not an easy task because I just want to eat it all. If I have it all, I just want to eat it all. If it's right there in front of me. So um, I use a Goya adobo. I don't know if I said that right, but it sounded good. Goya, Goya adobo. Um, and that's just like an, an all-purpose seasoning. Um, and I was too lazy to make a label, so I just cut it off and, and taped it. These are one cup. Um, the, 
These are called, uh, yeah, the spice <laughs> containers. This is the one cup one. And these are wonderful. They stack on top of each other and you can really organize your life with these bad boys. All right, so enough about those. So what we have is, remember, I'm not gonna do it like an oven. I'm gonna do it like the press. So it's gonna sit on top of them. Um, and also by cutting it in half that way, it takes, you know, a lot of times your chicken breast is bigger on one side than it is on the other. And so this way it, it helps it to sit more evenly. And so I'm going to pop it in the oven for like six minutes and then we're going to check and see where we're at. Um, and I might need to flip it over just because, you know, the weight or whatever of it. But, um, but we'll see in six minutes. So I'm going to come back to you in six. All right, so it just done. Um, that's the word. The microwave, when the microwave goes off, it, it dungs. Did you know that? Yeah. So, um, so I'm gonna get it out and see if the dung is a sign that it is done or if the dung is just a sign that we need to cook it some more. All right, so you do have some, they don't stay cool per se. I mean, they're warm. I'm not gonna go walk around the block and hold on to this, but um, but I can you know transport it from the microwave to the countertop. And then you've got this little handle thing and, and it's warm too. Now, can you, you can see the, the steam um, releasing so nice little facial action if that's what you're in the mood for um, but check this out guys look at how that is brown see the juices kind of there's like a trough that kind of uh, you know surrounds the whole micro program and so let me take a knife now while it was cooking I went ahead and I cut up some potatoes and I've got them going in the air fryer um, but as you see like this the bottom side is not it's, it's not browned like the top side is, and it's just, you know, there was more pressure on the top than on the bottom. So, I'm feeling, and you want to be careful because you don't want to cut on this. It's like kind of like what Teflon would be like, so you don't want to use any sharp objects on it. Um, I'm feeling like everything's cooked pretty good. As you guys can see, I'm going to do it a couple minutes. I'm going to flip this over because I would like um, some more brown on this side. It's just my personal preference. Um, and so I'm gonna do, now remember, it's at 400 degrees. And so, oh, can you get that sizzle? A little sizzle, sizzle. So it's still, you know, gonna cook a little bit. Um, but I'm gonna do two more minutes. And then, um, and then we'll be done. And then I will take some of it, not all of it, and I will have some dinner. I'm gonna have some, uh, some potatoes that I'm doing in the air fryer. And then check this out, guys. I um, roasted some vegetables, as you can see, I've been eating some as the day has gone on, but I just, I make an Italian seasoning blend, and so I just drizzled some olive oil on it. I did this, this is the Ultra Pro, this is actually the lid to the lasagna pan that turns into a little baking sheet, um, and this is plastic, and I did this in the oven, 400 degrees, for 45 minutes, and I roasted some vegetables, so I'm going to have this with my chicken and my potatoes, nice little yummy healthy meal. Um, and yeah, so we'll have it done in a minute and I hope you guys have a good day. Toodaloo.